guys, welcome to my channel. This is Nicholas No H back with another Love Bites reaction. Today we're gonna have Swan Song from Love Bites. Uh, there was a video that came out recently that has the um, like a newer performance. I think it may just be filmed in a more dynamic way as well. And um, so I'm gonna check that the like the meat of that song out, most of that song. However, I saw some comments saying that the Chopin piano intro wasn't included uh, for Miyako and i wanted to see that as well so what i'm going to do is do the intro of that um and then do the rest of the song with the other videos so yeah chopin intro from this and then rest of the song from the other video uh and if you guys have never checked out my channel before uh please check it out there's a playlist of so many love bites reactions i've had over the past year plus uh and then also a playlist if you want to check that out as well there's going to be a bunch of them listed and yeah just see my reaction from the very beginning until now yeah they're just very special they're killer every time i listen to them so uh if you want to subscribe it really does help help somebody know what is wanted on here i'll try to get more of that for you guys if not i appreciate it nonetheless let's get to it we're going to start with the little intro part here the open piano intro from miyako and she's i've seen her piano performances before or a couple of them three two one let's go finger dexterity That's like so impressive to me. Come on. I never know how to react. Like, from, like, I'm just, I just get engulfed in it when I watch, like, especially per piano performances. She is so amazing, and, like, the way, one-handed, just being able to do that, obviously getting to that level takes a lot of practice. I would mess up, you know, 50 times if I had to do that, probably more. And it really created a sense of uneasiness, uh, dramaticism as well, and kind of, I mean, I don't know how the song's gonna sound, if it's gonna venture off from that sort of uneasiness sort of feeling but it still brings you to a specific place when someone is able to uh start a song off like that and just lead you in a direction and then either you get whiplash because it's completely different or to show you like what else you have that that's in store for you uh like going down this road so she's amazing uh so here i'm going to switch off to the other video which is uh i don't i don't know if it's even better but this is unlisted so i don't even know if it's going to be uh, it would be uploaded, so uh, we're gonna get to it. All right, let's get to it. Three, two, one. The rest of Swan Song. Cool. Sorry, I don't want to pause too early, but the the way it started off it had a you know like 80s rock like glam rock or um i'm sure there's a lot of little sub genres that i don't know i don't know too much about but it had the the scale and like the um the, the way a lot of those songs started off it just felt i don't know just like a grandness to it kind of felt like uh like entrance music to um wrestling wwe stuff like that so there's always a sense of like I don't know everything just seems bigger and and there's more at stake so the way here like can you imagine like you know a, a big name wrestler coming out like uh, jake the snake you know something like that back in those times just amazing and 
this is kind of like that Love Bites sound that I'm used to. That's amazing. Crunchiness on the guitar. Gritty and dirty. I love that part. The, the the tone in which he's singing and the I had to go back a little. Then again here. Say we're in trouble. Ooh, the way that descended there. Now Midori. I just love how 80s this feels, this part. Froze there. Oh, those vocals. 
chanting. Could have ended there, and I'm glad they didn't. Oh, back in the piano. Give me the chills. Wow. So beautiful. Damn. Well, at least I had the last part with the piano, even though I had to go to the other video for the uh, Chopin intro, but wow, that went so many different places. I would say, I want to say the intro kind of sets the tone in, in a weird way, because the, the end here caps it off, and sandwiched in between that is like just so much of that love bites goodness that we, you know, we know and love. Yeah, I, I, like Asami was really in the zone in this one. I really love how she um, took command of the crowd. Always feels like she's leading a charge of like, you know, of a group of bloodthirsty fans that. Uh, we'll do anything she says obviously the I, I like the bass in this a lot i was trying to listen to it even though i didn't point it out that much except that one little part um but the guitar solos as always uh the the drumming uh haruna she's a beast of the tone in which she was singing as well uh and the, those small parts that sounded very 80s that grand 80s feel really twisted the song on its head a bit but then it went into that you know that love bites uh sound that is just very much you know you hear tens five seconds even you know it's them um but they were able to make it still sound like a song that they haven't made before which is great you can have your own sound but have songs that sound different which is what the greats do so uh, that was really fun and uh, let me know what you guys thought of this uh what i missed anything that you want me to check out in the future as well and appreciate it thanks for watching see you next time peace